Welcome to the Techie Wand. Today we're going to be unboxing Ubiquity NVR. Look at this nice little packaging. All right, here's the NVR. Got an Ethernet port, HDMI, VGA, four USB, and a small little tiny COM port. Hmm. Two more 3.0 USBs. Card slot, mic, headphones. It's a pretty nice little setup. Instructions, power cable, other piece of power cable, and a stand. Awesome. So here's the NVR, and we're going to plug it in to our switch. Right there. And now we're going to do an IP scan using Angry IP Scanner to find what IP address it is attached to. <laughs> and it looks like it's 104.3. Most of the time it does attach to IP address 192.168.1.147. Or dot forty seven, sorry, one dot forty seven. But in this case is attached to point three. And there we go. Click to log in. Proceed. Now what I have noticed is if you use port 7080 when you're trying to view your cameras, it does work a little bit better. I'm going to turn you guys off for this portion. And here's the next screen. So I'm going to just type in the standard password for the Ubiquiti cameras, which is UBNT. Searching for cameras, but I don't have any hooked up yet. All right, now time to set up the camera. First, we're going to take the PoE adapter, and we're going to connect our LAN cable into the LAN port. Hold on one second. There we go. In the LAN port. And then we're going to take our second cable. Ta da! And plug it into the camera. Really nice if I had a stand right now. Now, you can attach it in to the bottom of the base into the camera like so so then you don't see any any uh, cables once it's mounted all right and then we connect beep, beep, boom this end of the ethernet cable into the poe port there we go and the camera should be coming online Infrared. There we go. Now it's back to the computer. Alright, and now they're back to the computer. 
I already pulled it right up. Look at that. Now we just have to manage it. Whoops. There we go. Username, UBNT. Password, UBNT. Manage. I believe this takes a minute. Now it's online, we're just going to reboot it. And I'll finish upgrading. Alright, and there we go. These are the IP addresses. The camera's already upgraded. You can view the live view. You can manage the recordings. Right now it's not set to record. Um, you can set the motion detection, whether to record seconds before, seconds after. You can actually configure the zone, which I'll show you real quick. It'll show your live feed screenshot, and you can just manipulate this in any direction. You can add more and make another box somewhere else. Like, let's say that's a register, or God knows what you have. But you can just record that single spot. Um, we're just going to trash all that and revert it back to normal because I'm not going to mess with any of that yet. You can look at the statistics on it, you can manage it, you can unmanage it. You can change the resolution, every other bit aspect of it, RTSP services. And then you can view your recordings in here, whether by the week or just by the camera. And there you go. That's how you set the Unified G3 cameras. Alternatively, you can also click on the IP address log into the camera itself standard password ubnt ubnt and then you can actually set up this particular camera we are going to be let's go with new york and i passed it there we go Unified video mode that's connected to the NVR. And in here, you can change the IP address, the network you're connected to, the system itself. You can update the camera, disable the microphone, display a logo, anything else you want. For this particular camera, I'm just going to change the name. Camera one. And there you go. Camera one. <laughs> it's a little bit too in focus. 